Good afternoon folks, it's 23rd of September today. Nice day really, considering. Today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be potting some vanilla orchids, which is vanilla planifolia, and is the plant that produces commercial vanilla pods, the flavouring, like for your ice cream and custard. It's a strange plant, it's a climbing plant as you can see, it's basically a fleshy stem with quite fleshy leaves and lots of aerial roots. Now these are a bit of an indication that this is going to grab hold of whatever it's climbing up. It's a plant from the West Indies so it likes it nice and warm, humid and it also likes it fairly shady but not dim. Now normally you would buy these in a small pot growing on a metal hoop uh, and the first thing that you should do once you get these little plants is to pot them up into something larger and give them something to climb up. Now today what I'm doing I'm using one of our moss covered poles in actual fact it's coir um, and this provides a perfectly good anchor for it these ones are 80 centimeters tall and I'm using a clear pot only really so I can see how the roots are getting on you could use you know a dark colored pot doesn't matter uh, and I'm going to plunk the this is a 15 centimeter pot I'm going to plunk the pole in the center of the pot at the bottom and I'm going to fill up with this compost this compost is comprised of 8 to 12 millimeter fine orchid bark and plain sphagnum peat. You could use coir, that'd be all right. Now I've filled it to probably about just over half full, and I've got the plants with the roots showing, nice roots. And I'm going to drape the roots around the base of the pole sitting on top of the compost as you can see just like that and the same at this side now I'm planting two plants in each pot which is what I usually do just so they'll grow up together so I've got one that's straight opposite each other now I'm just going to infill now with some more of this bark and peat mix you can just use normal potting compost actually, but I like find they grow really well in this mix. It's not like a normal sort of phalaenopsis or anything, because they do like to be quite damp. Got that in. Now, once I've got that potted, as you can see, what I'm going to do with these now, with these long stems, is I'm going to wrap them around the main hole. I want to get to the tip. You have to be very careful at the tip because they're like asparagus. They'll smash very easy. I'm going to use these clips which you've seen before. Available on the website link that you can see now. And I'm just affixing it to the coir. And I'm now going to do the same with the other one. Wrap it around. It's that easy. One of these. Clip it to the coir. Put the label in. Wrote the date on the back so just as a reference so you know what you've done. Now you've got to give that a really, really good soak. I would suggest giving it a water when you've done it, leaving it for a couple of hours, and then giving it another water, and that'll allow it to absorb into that mixture. And there it is. Hopefully you can see that. Now these roots will start to grow, and they'll grab a hold of this, and they'll grow up in no time. I would expect that plant to be at the top of that pole within about three months which is quite a lot of growing but they do grow quick now these plants are quite slow at producing flowers and therefore seed pods which is what you're after a plant of this size is probably not going to flower for at least five or six years so it's it's quite a slow process um, but I've never seen any big plants for sale so you, if you want one of these things you've got to do it for yourself I have got some large plants available which are on six foot poles um, but they're already 
probably three years old uh, and I'm still going to be waiting three years for it anyway I hope you enjoyed that I hope it all made sense to you and don't forget you can buy your orchids and your supplies from orchidspecies.co.uk the website link is now appearing at the bottom of the screen thanks very much call back again and check out some of the other videos bye then